Hi everybody! Today I will show you in a short live demo how to make a fast and easy backup and restore of Nutanix AHV with the backup software SAP Sesam. Stay tuned! Now let's jump straight into the live demo. Here you can see our browser-based restore assistant with a lot of options for different hypervisor restore or application restore. In this case, I would like to show you the Nutanix AHV restore. Click on next. Here's the Nutanix management server of this Nutanix system. And here are the uh, virtual machines where we have backups available for restore. We select one of these virtual machines, click on Next, and here you see the available backups, some incremental, some full. Let's go back in time a little bit, select one of the safe sets, click on Next. Some additional options are available regarding the target Nutanix server system, the name of the virtual machine, some override options, but we use the defaults, click on Next. Also here we use the defaults for the data mover and the recovery options if you would like to start, the VM after restore, the storage container use the default and so on. Click on next. Here's the overview of if we would restore the complete virtual machine. But I would like to show you a single file restore from a mounted backup. Therefore, we go back and uh, click on the advanced view. Here you see the single file restore available pre-selected already, click on next, also select the virtual machine, click on next, maybe the latest backup in this case, sing select single file restore, click on next, and now you have some new options to do some specification regarding where the mount should be processed. Uh, in this case, there is the backup server, demo fix 3, where we would like to mount the backup to. We keep all the defaults, click on mount this backup in the file system. And during the mount process on, on the right side, you can have a look at the available restore options when using our backup software SAP Sesam. The mount process has successfully been finished and we can uh, drill down maybe the user directory, the bin directory, just select maybe two files, maybe this one and this one, the add user and the AR command file, click on next. And where we would like to restore the files to, uh, the backup server once again is uh, pre-selected, demo fix three. Where would we like to restore the files to? So browse through the uh, backup server to the temp directory. I have prepared a restore directory already, select this one. And then we would like to restore the items in a flat directory without the original tree structure. And I can switch to this directory on the demo fix 3. Let's have a look. There is nothing in this directory currently. Now go to next. Uh, some additional expert options over here. The overview of the uh, selected options and then start the restore of these two files. You see that the virtual disk has been mounted and uh, also that the restore is now completed successfully. If I drill down, I can have a look at the log file and also the log file. Uh, if there would be some issues with the restore, you can find the errors or warnings, but in this case, it has been restored successfully. Now have a look at the directory and here are the to restored files. So for the backup, we will start once again with the restore assistant and we will switch from this uh, menu bar to the web UI. Here you can see an overview of the status of our backup server and we can switch to the overview of the backups. You can see there are some backups already here. We can change the period to one week and we can select some more filters like the task type. We are only interested in Nutanix AHV backups. Therefore, we will select this one, apply the filter. And now you see all the um, backups of Nutanix AHV uh, from the last week. 
We have one backup over here to, to restart the backup. I click on these three dots and here you can see the menu item immediate start. And uh, when I immediate start the, the backup, you can uh, change the, the backup level and uh, the media pool where to put the backup data. In this case, the data will be saved to our integrated deduplication store. Click on next, some more options over here, click on next and now start the backup. If we refresh our view, you can see that there is a new backup task in, the, uh, in an active state. Our backup options are, as I have told already, copy, full, differential and incremental backup by using native change block tracking. We have some sort of algorithm for automatic detection of new virtual machines. And you can also configure pre and post scripts to uh, cover your backup tasks. If I refresh, you can see that this task is still going on. And now you see everything finished successfully. You can see it in the main log over here, backup completed successfully. <music>